of them. They're gone. At last, I found you, monster. Whoa, whoa, guys, stop fighting. The ridge is on. Hi, I'm Amy Gao. I'm a senior here at Sky Ridge, and I'm here to talk a little bit about FBLA and DECA. DECA is more focused on marketing and FBLA is more focused on business enterprise. Both DECA and FBLA are super great clubs because not only do they look great on college resumes, you also learn a lot of interpersonal skills, research skills, and just overall life habits that will help you later on in the future. FBLA and DECA competitions are pretty similar in the fact that a lot of the categories are with role plays or testing or projects. Role plays are super fun because you show up to your event. I did hospitality and tourism and you will be given a scenario on the spot and have to figure out a campaign and how you're going to present it. Then you go in front of these judges and you just talk to them and you act as a whatever role that you have and they are like the judges and they'll be like what are these statistics for your campaign and you can get really creative because they just give you a lot of paper and DECA and what we did um, me and my partner we folded origami pyramids and said that these were our core values you can get really creative in these two clubs and that's one of the best parts and keep in mind it isn't just all like businessy things there's some categories like in DECA there's apparel and accessories which is about fashion and clothing there's also computer science where you talk about technology and things like that FBLA and DECA are just where all of those things converge together and makes a whole club out of it this year we have two people advancing to nationals in California for DECA and then six people um, going to nationals in Florida for FBLA which is super exciting so hey if you're interested Sign up, talk to Gig Griffith, or join during Club Rush next year because we'd love to see you there. May is quickly approaching. All that you have been working for has built to this moment. Miss Kissy, and I'm here to teach you how to read sheet music. 
there are many different parts of music. One is the note that we're playing or we're singing. But the other part of music is how long you hold that note, and that's the rhythm. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, and two, and three, four. One of the tricky ways to learn notes is to remember face, F-A-C-E. Now, if you want to learn the lines, you have to remember the same. Every good boy does fine, E-G-B-D-F. The very most fun way to learn how to read music is to come to choir. We've got some new product designs. If they're good, we're gonna go gold. If they suck, I'm gonna sell them to a vacuum salesman. So, what do we have on the agenda today? To make history, edible flavored sticky notes. We got dragon fruit, we got papaya, we got butternut banana, we got tiger's blood, we got salmon, and we got blue kiwi. Which one would you like to try? Get stuck in the teeth. Next. You know what we really need? Is we need you to go to the Sky Ridge Business School. Join FBLA, DECA, and learn how to find some really good products. Tell me when you're ready. No, it'll just come to me though. Okay, ready? We're gonna practice. Mike Pickle, Sky Ridge Baseball. Camden Sapphire to Sky Ridge Baseball. We have a game April 30th against Lehigh. We play Lehigh April 30th at 3.30. Be there. Be there at B-Square. Let's go. I need some help. Hello? I have this missing book here, and I need your help now. Meet me at the park. I'm on my way. Let's go. On my way. 